Hey folks, Rob here from Mountain Block Moments. Just driving the gate up at uh, the block and a very nice little cow has had a very nice little calf. And we've also got a few ring-ins by the look from the neighbours. So we'll be getting some cows in and running them through the yards again. But I'll uh, turn the camera around and we'll have a look at Harley's calf. The little cow is called Harley. She's been with us for a long time. A lovely little cow, nice and deep, very quiet. And she's got a calf on her. So I'll give them a little bit of respect when they've got calves. There's all the uh, ring-ins. Hey Harley, what are you doing? What are you doing, girl? Oh, she's good. She's also known as Nora the Snorer. She's forever snoring. And there's our little girl calf. A little bull. I've told them I want more heifers, but they don't seem to be listening to me. He's a pretty little fella. And lots of the other cows over there. So, I don't know what these ones think they're doing, but I'm not putting a lick out for all of them, and these are going to eat it as well. I'll put the cows in the yard and pull them off. Give the neighbour a call. Probably wait until that other cow pushes up.
Well, I definitely could have positioned the camera a little bit better for you, but uh, yeah, running the cows back through the yards, pulling off the neighbour's cattle. Uh, it all goes fairly smoothly. I guess the biggest disappointment for some viewers will be you can't see Cal doing a thing on the side there. Anyway, as per usual, we get it done. That's the last of the neighbour's cattle and a very important part of stock work is coming up and that is leaning on the rail looking at other people's cattle wondering why they've chosen that particular lot of cattle to do something with and why they don't look like ours. Oh, that calf is getting to half the size of its mother. I think it's enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those four calves are probably big enough to come off yeah. now. Yeah, if I bring the truck up, I'll put them on, put the bulls on, and put crazy. Oh, I haven't seen. Crazy Zach. Just letting them out. You can see how quiet they are, they never rush out a gate. What makes it really difficult for me at the moment is I'm trying to count them and there's cows that want scratches and they won't flow out the gate. Cattle that won't flow are very hard to count. You sort of get to six and you forget how many you've counted. So as you'll see, I get to about eight and forget how many I've counted. Yeah, I think that's right. Went out. Oh, that would be right. Over 37 cows now. one that keeps wanting to pat on. Hmm? Some are quite insistent on being patted. Yes, I know. Is that Miss September? Oh, then I was patting and this one here putting her out of the way. We'll end up going the same way as another thing. Is that one giving us a calf? Is that one giving us a calf? Had calves. Y'all 
looking better. You were looking a bit raggedy a month ago. Bloody wild cows. Did you pat a patchy? Mm, patchy keeps wanting to have a pat. This doesn't like being patted on a head. Ah, uh, let's see, that's my problem. Love a scratch, don't you? Just not on a head. This one here is quite happy. She'll take a pat wherever she can get it. Yes, yes, she will. Won't you? And here comes another one. You gonna let this one have a pat? Majority of them should still be due to calf. Some of them look like they're heavily pregnant or they're fat. The reason I stopped all the way over here Yeah, go over to him. Okay, folks, that's it from Mountain Block Moments. We shall see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe. What she said.